What's going on my broskies, my name is Totski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and man, I, I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around as to why this event is even currently here on One Piece Treasure Cruise. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I mean, if you haven't picked up the unit, definitely go ahead and farm this event up, uh, limit break him, he does need very specific limit break materials in order to max out, and you can get them by playing the event, and also by completing the Chopper Man missions. The Chopper Man missions require you to use very certain characters, like Luffy, Law, Hancock, Luchi, Smoker, characters that were featured in Film Stampede are characters that they want you to use on your crew. If you complete it once with those characters on your crew, you complete the mission. So in this video, we have four different teams with a whole bunch of different characters. And because how old this event actually is, like this is a very easy piece of content now. Like to be honest, the captains that you choose will probably just carry you through. And then you just run a couple of crewmates that can help you get around the gimmicks that are also the ones that you need. Luffy, Laws, Smokers, Crocodile, Lucci, Hancock, uh, Buggy is also one of them that counts as well. Like there's just, it, it's just a pretty straightforward event of course. So I'm not going to be talking throughout the entire duration of this video, but I'll leave you guys with this Marco clip and then we'll move on to team number two. The second team is, again, going to be using a lot of the characters that are required for the Chopper Man missions, and we're going to be going ahead and using Cat Dog as our captains this time around. Of course, you can use their super type and super class specials to wave clear stages, and then when you reach uh, stage 4, you can use both of their special abilities to get an attack and an orb boost, hit 2 perfect, so you get the other boost in the final stage, and that's pretty much it. Again, pretty straightforward using Cat Dog as the main captains, and then we have uh, Law, we have a Luffy and a Boa because of uh, that. Kizuna unit there which is nice counts as two characters for the missions and also characters like Luffy and Law that's another one you could potentially use as it does count as both a Luffy and a Law character so if you want to complete the missions a little bit faster you can build teams around using those dual units but unfortunately the characters that they do request you to use are not a lot of them actually have dual units that work together like the only ones that actually have dual units that work together are Luffy Boa and Luffy and Law the rest of them are, there's not dual units that work together for these missions a bit of a shame there honestly and would have been cool if they you know if they were going to go down this route and introduce more stampede events they should release more free-to-play characters introduce a harder difficulty to this quest something along those lines would have been uh, would have been a lot more fun but either way leave you guys with the cat dog clip and we'll pick things up with team number three Team number three is going to be using Legend Carrot 6 Plus as the captain, and once again, we have a Hancock, we have a Crocodile this time around, we have the Luffy and the Law, as well as Luchi. This is the first time I've used Luffy Law in such a long time. 
It's actually ridiculous. Uh, and th they're actually pretty good for this too, because their switch ability giving themselves a guaranteed matching slot, giving themselves a two times attack boost, allows you to easily clear stage three. And then on stage four, there's going to be percent damage reduction. So Catdog in the previous team was able to showcase it, but also showcasing it here as well with Carrot's Captain ability being able to bypass those effects, which is really, really nice. You can see we just use auto to get through these first few stages if you want to get through it faster. You could take out one of these characters for a wave clearer. You could definitely do that if you wanted to, but if you want to complete the mission, at least on the first clear, definitely use as many of these characters as you can. But I'll leave you guys with this clip with Carrot going ahead and clearing this, and we'll pick things up with the final team, which is a full free-to-play team. So here we are with our full free-to-play team using Luffy, a Sabo, we do have a Boa Hancock, we have ourselves Buggy, we have a Crocodile uh, with that Mr. One dual unit. It's not a very accessible unit and I know a lot of people don't have that character, but believe you me, you do not need that character to clear it, it's only here because it's a Crocodile character. And using the friend captain of Super Tandem Law allows us to fulfill the law requirement. So the only characters that this team doesn't fulfill is Smoker, Luchi, and I think that's it? Just Smoker and Luchi? I think it's actually it, yeah. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, Smoker, Luchi. Yeah, that's pretty crazy actually. So this is a pretty solid team um, if you want to get through those missions as quick as possible. Obviously, this team isn't the fastest team out there because it doesn't have cooldown reduction or anything like that to allow you to wave clear stages either. So that is a little bit of a downside, but look, if you're just looking to clear the missions, even though the thing is, you only need to clear the missions if you don't have this character maxed out. If you already have the character with max special and max uh, limit break, the only reason you would farm this is for the copies to get him to level 150. I would advise everyone to get the copies to get this guy at least to level limit break 5. You don't need to level him up to 150, but at least get those copies. I think it's the, the 9 copies or whatever it is in order to make his level limit break 5. So if they ever buff him in the future, you'll be you'll be able to uh, just have him ready to go. Very, very important that you do that. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video
死ぬくらいなら作戦失敗でいい。